Well, howdy friends, Greg here. Today I'm going to go to the Zoo Atlanta and check out some of the animals that they have here. Zoo Atlanta was started in 1889 by George V. Gress, who acquired several animals from a defunct circus. These animals he donated to the city of Atlanta and they decided to start a zoo here at Grant Park. This is a southern ground hornbill, and it looks like he's got a dead mouse in his beak. Ugh. I guess it's lunchtime. And there's a bald eagle looking very majestic. Suddenly feel the urge to sing the Star Spangled Banner. And this bird right here is known as a rhinoceros hornbill. And there's another one. Right over there. Here's something you don't see every day, an M&M's vending machine. Over here at the complex carnivores are tigers and bears and leopards and more tigers. Not seeing too many tigers here. But there is this giant skull with lots of other little skulls on it. Yeah, the leopard's way up there, kind of hard to see, right in the middle, right there. All right, well, that was interesting, but now we're going to go see the pandas. Hopefully they won't be hiding like the tigers were. There's no pandas. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park and I'm missing all the animals. There's a baby panda. And then some adults over there. I think we must have showed up at nap time. Most of these animals just want to sleep. Right? Here's one laying down on the ground, but I'm not really sure if he's even alive or not. <laughs> and the tiger's just hanging out here. Oh, and taking a leisurely stroll. And then way over there you can see a, it looks like a black bear. Two of them, there's another one. Oh, my bad, they're Malayan sun bears. And then what we have in this enclosure is a tanuki right over there. Makes me think of uh, the tanuki suit from uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. You can kind of make out the Komodo dragon right there. Oh, now is he moving? Is he moving? No, he's gonna take a break. You can take a nap. No, he doesn't want to come down. <laughs> okay, here's a better shot of the Komodo. He's kind of shy. He doesn't want to come down and say hi. So I'll, I'll, I'll go up the side of the mountain and say hi to him instead. And this is what's known as a red panda. Oh, look, there's some otters. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, John? They're, they're swimming. They're swimming under the water. That otter's just sleeping. i ah, just kidding. He's dead. Another wait, there's another one. It's the rescue otter. Oh, wait, no, he's not dead. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see some naked mole rats. I am not excited. <laughs> this is kind of neat. Look at this on the ceiling. Maybe about like little you know, dirt squares. Make you feel like you're underground for real. And over there is the naked mole rats. <laughs> he's trying to escape. He's trying to escape. Oh, he's got the cheese. Oh, that's probably like guava or something. Uh, don't, don't fight over it, guys. Don't fight over it. I'm running off with the cheese. <laughs> All right, I know it's guava or whatever it is, but it's, you know, makes me think of cheese. Oh, 
And just beyond the mole rats, you can see the orangutan enclosure. There they are, right up there. Trying to stay cool. And this monkey's called a drill. That's what drills are made out of, right? They'll find leaves, um, sticks, things like that to make a nest. Um, so here at Zoo Atlanta, we give them nesting material. So hay, wood wool, alfalfa, um, burlap, things like that, and they make nests every single night as well. Do you grow vegetables? They sure do here at Zoo Atlanta, they do. Um, we feed them all oh, healthy food. Right. So you heard me earlier, they don't eat any meat. So you lions and tigers, they'll eat meat, but gorillas, they're called herbivores, which means that they eat just vegetation or just leafy material. So no meat. That's a little, um, yeah. this is all four cloth. Um, that's a really good sign that it's nice and uh, a healthy, strong baby if it can hold on by itself. Now let's see what's in the living treehouse. Yeah. Okay, sure. Is that from there? I think he's saying let me in. I'm ready to go in now. She found a nest. Look at that thing. One day we'll be empty nesters. And down there are some black and white ruffled lemurs. They like jumping around. Or swinging as it were. And down there we got some ring-tailed lemurs. Those other lemurs were having some fun over there. This is the Willie B Gorilla Conservation Center. So Willie B was fondly remembered by generations of Atlanteans and an icon of the transformation of Zoo Atlanta. Oh look, here's his footprints. Pick your nose. Are you picking noses? Just turn them all to the same one. Oh, okay. Well, let's turn them all to different ones. That one, change that one. Uh, it's like Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune of noses. Same way up there. Way, way up there. Burmese mountain tortoise. They live in the mountains now. And up ahead here, it looks like the reptile house. I guess that was kind of a clue that I saw the tortoise back there earlier. Look at these guys. Pretty darn big. What are you doing hiding over there? I see you hiding over there. And there's a little small one there having a snack. Georgia extremes. Slither on in y'all. And here we got a little baby turtle, it looks like. Look at that little guy, so cute. Just want to take him home with me. This turtle is floating. He's floating right there in the water. Look at him. Go, go, Mr. Turtle, go. Oh, he's being chased.
Now we're going to the reptile house, the proper one. The other thing was like the turtle swimming thing. He's an active guy, huh? Stay away from the light. Back there is a green basilisk. I understand his dinner is down in here somewhere, the crickets. You better run, little cricket. Run like your life depended on it. Because it does. Can you find the frog in this picture? It's right there. You can kind of see a little blue speck in the middle of your screen. That's one of those poison frogs. I guess venomous frogs is probably more accurate. And then here's some lemur leaf frogs up there hanging out with the poison frogs. I don't know if I'd want to hang out with that guy. He's kind of mean. Then apparently there's a snake in here somewhere. I don't see him yet. I don't see. You know where the snake is? Where is he? Oh yeah, I can see the tail. It looks like the rest of them is hiding under all these pine needles and things. Wouldn't want to step on that. Holy shit! Holy! That was a snake. And then hiding in this little log here is a spinning cobra. All I can see is his, like his body there. I can't see his head, but you can kind of see the other part of him right there. Hiding in there. You never know when you're gonna find a snake. This is a giant alligator snapping turtle. If I could see him, it would be kind of hard to see. He's hiding back there. See the back of his shell? He looks like Gamora. Or should I say Gamora? Here's a Jamaican boa. And there's another one right up there. This is a Cape Cobra. I don't know, any kind of cobra. It's scary. I'm not even sure those frogs are real. They're like totally not moving. And they are underwater and everything. And there's a couple of Sri Lankan pit vipers. There's actually two of them there. You can kind of see two different heads right there all coil up together. They're best friends. This one's called an eyelash viper. And here's a giant Papuan python. This is a giant anole. Hey, what's up, man? I think that's that horny toad that Yosemite Sam's always talking about. There's the python right there. Besides that guy. Big. Pretty big snake. I wouldn't want to find in my backyard. Holy cow! That's a freaking snake! The giant snake. Now we're heading into the African savanna. Over here they've got a small warning here. Watch out for headhunters. I just heard the intern call this lion Hondo. I can just imagine him telling us right now, how dare you bother my steep. And it looks like here they've got a really nice big expansion to this area. It's gonna be cool when it's done. It's gonna be nice. Uh, We'll have to come back when it's all open and everything. Right now, unfortunately, we can't see the elephants, which are over here. I guess they're taking a break. And here's kind of the plan for this whole area. African Savannah, opening 2019. All right, well, there you have it. That's Zoo Atlanta. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Oh, and remember to hit the like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Oh, and check out my Greg's Gamer channel as well. It's, it's a pretty good channel. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Yeah, that otter's just dead. Tired. He's tired. He's sleeping over there.